Hey, how are you? Well, I'm going to give this skateboard away this week, and if you want a chance to win, you have to go to Facebook, leave a comment, and share it. So uh, that's all you have to do. It's um, you know, it's a cool skateboard. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, I had bought some new spray paint, and I was just kind of playing around, and uh, I kind of liked what was going on, so I finished making the board, and I signed it. So if you want an original piece of art, or if you just want to skate it, uh, just go ahead and go to Facebook, and you can take a shot at winning this. Now I'm going to make a similar board today uh, with the skulls. Also, I'll put this a picture of this skull sized. So if you want to make your own board, you can go to uh, my website and search like skull board, skull polka dot board maybe. Uh, it'll be right there. And then you can just print that out and cut it out and make your own board because I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So uh, that's how you could win this board. Now the first step in painting a skateboard is uh, the decks come with a finish on them, so it's a good idea to lightly finish, or not finish, lightly sand the decks, and always wear a mask. Whenever you're sanding, whenever you're spray painting, wear a mask. You know, just take care of yourself. Now, the other thing is, on the boards that I bought, uh, these are blanks that I think they're about uh, 10 or 15 dollars a piece. Uh, so anyway, these ones come with this little sticker. Uh, and I always remove that first. I just sort of scrape it off with a razor blade, lightly sand the board, and then to save paint, because spray paint's pretty expensive, I'm using this new, it's new to me, uh, Montana spray paint works great, uh, but it's also expensive, so to save a little bit on paint, I prime the boards first with a foam roller and uh, Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore, which is, it's just a good acrylic primer. I've got two coats of primer on the skateboard now. I sand it in between each coat and the second coat is drying. And so while that's drying, I'm going to cut a perfect circle out on a piece of paper. Now when I did the study, I cut the piece of paper a little small and I had a lot of overspray. So I'm using a larger piece of paper and a quart sized paint container to make the circle. And this surface here that I'm cutting on, this is called a cutting mat, and you can find these at any art supply store. I've let the primer dry, and I sanded the last coat with 320 grit sandpaper, just to give the board a really nice, smooth surface. And the first color that I'm going to use is orange. And with this Montana spray paint, there's a little safety washer that needs to be removed before you can use the spray paint. And you really want to shake this up. You want to give it a good shake for two or three full minutes. I'm going to lay the skull stencil on the skateboard in, in just a random pattern. And then I'll put the piece of paper with the circle cut out and lightly spray. When you finish with a color, hold the can upside down and spray it to clean out the nozzle. I've let the orange paint dry for about an hour and now I'm covering it up with this yellow frog tape. And the way I make that perfect circle is to lay a little bit of the frog tape out on this cutting mat. And then I'll use a quart sized paint container again and trace it with a sharp razor blade. Then I'll carefully pick up the, basically a sticker now, trying to keep it from coming apart at the seams. and then place it over the image. Now I'll bring the board back outside and paint it with a few coats of yellow.
Well, I had fun making the board, uh, but unfortunately it didn't really turn out the way I thought it was going to. The colors are, are not what I was hoping for. Uh, but the, um, I actually like this board a lot more. And this is the one I'm gonna give away on Facebook. So to find out more about that, just go to my Facebook. And if you wanna make one of these boards, just go to my website and I'll have a photograph up there uh, of the skull and you can pull it onto your desktop, cut it out and make the board the same way I did. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon.